So we begin with a question on the part of the church. Uh, what name have you given your children? And what name, I mean, and uh, what do you ask of the church for Carly and for Matthew? You have asked for your children to be baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training them in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty, parents, to bring up your child to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Parents, do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? And I ask the godparents, are you ready to help the parents of these children in their duty as Christian parents? Matthew and Carly, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Christ our Savior by tracing the cross on your forehead, and I invite your parents and godparents to do the same. I ask you all to stand at this time as we renew our own baptismal promises and our profession of faith. So I ask you, and all here present, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church, which we are proud to profess in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. So now is it your will that Matthew and Carly should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed together? Then please come with me to the font, and I invite you to be seated.